Breaking news, Microsoft made a new requirement for Windows 11 24H2 and if you have an old laptop or PC, believe me, you will not like it. New system requirements will change the core files of the system, that is, it will require a new CPU instruction which is called POP CNT. Let's get it straight, you cannot bypass this requirement at the moment. In fact, it's more complicated than CPM 2.0 or Secure Boot. In my opinion, of course, enthusiasts sooner or later will figure out how to do it, but unfortunately, this is Microsoft policy. Let's get it clear, which processors do not support this instruction? I found quite interesting information about the processors that support POP CNT instruction. Firstly, you may see that here we have Sandy Bridge and Haswell, but if you take a close look, you may see Sandy Bridge processors and newer, that is, the second generation easily can support this instruction. Here we have Intel Core i7 of the second generation, but if we're talking about quite older processor, for example, here here we have Intel Core i7 820QM. You may see that this processor was released in 2009. The code name of the CPU is Clarksfield. It will not support it because it is very old. And also we have Intel Core i5 processor. It's like first generation or something like that. It will also not support it. By the way, it has even a different code name, Arendelle, and it was released in 2010. That is, only Sandy Bridge, a newer processor, will support POP CNT, included Intel Pentium and, of course, Intel Celeron. My conclusions if you want to use Windows, just buy a new laptop or PC. I know how it sounds, but it is what it is. Or you can try to install Linux. Yes, Linux is a good alternative to Windows, and by the way, there are a bunch of good distros. I'm not trying to say that you should use Linux, I'm trying to say that you can try Linux. In the end, it's all up to you. If this video was helpful, please like it, and I recommend watching this video on how to install Windows 11 on an unsupported laptop or PC.